Hi, thanks for joining us today. I'm talking to Dave and Kat from Seriously Connected. Hi, guys. Hi, Steph. How are you doing? Hi, Steph. All, all right, thanks. Um, so, Kat, start us off. How did you meet Dave? Um, I met Dave because he was actually my recruitment consultant. Um, I used to work as a business operations manager, looking after several small startup businesses, everything from admin to finance to customer services to hiring and firing and a little bit of HR and pretty much everything in between. Um, and the business, the main business I worked for was high speed robotic automation. And for that company, I needed, um, yeah, I needed you, obviously, um, technical guys, engineers, project managers, sales guys, and they had to be really, really, really technical. And I needed a great recruiter who I, and, and found Dave, I know, you again. Um, and it went from there, really, and that was um, probably, I hate to say it, 12, 13, 14 years ago? It was a very long time. <laughs> it was a very long time ago. Yep. So were you in an agency? Yeah, I was working for uh, a, a small uh, agency in Stockport, in, just outside of Manchester. Uh, worked there, like I say, 2001, and worked there for nearly 10 years. Um, it took, I went from a trainee recruiter, uh, a, a, you know, a green trainee recruiter, to a divisional director, uh, running small teams, generating good revenue, all within the permanent space, uh, running teams of anything from three to 12 recruitment consultants at any one time. Right, so you had a good understanding of how to how to grow divisions and, and manage teams. And Were you working to strict KPIs or how did it work? Yeah, the traditional recruitment model has always been around KPIs and calls and um, the actual activity levels, really. So it's a, it's a, fundament, a fundamental way that agencies are run nowadays, and, and even from day one. It's all about calls, KPIs, activity, uh, how many calls can you make, how many jobs can you pick up, how many interviews can you arrange. It's, a, it's the traditional way of recruiting. Oh, well, apart from his sparkling personality and wit. <laughs> um, do you know what? As a client, um, I just, all I could think about is don't waste my time. I want somebody who comes in, who listens, who understands my business, who takes a consultative approach to what I need to do. They need to understand the ethics, the fit, what we're looking for as clients, the technicality of the role, for the example, culture. the culture of the business. The um, and, I, and I hate to say it, but I went through lots and lots of recruitment consultants who I would... You know, I was blatant with them. I said, unfortunately, I can never use you because they didn't listen. And they just delivered candidates that were completely wrong for us as a business and for the role. And when you find a good recruiter, a good consultative recruiter like Dave, um, they, it just makes a world of difference. It takes your pain away. They are just brilliant. And you'll never um, lose touch with that person, or at least I haven't. There's a few people I know like that. And years later, I'm still in touch with them because they're that good. So where did the idea of Seriously Connected come from then? Well, it actually came from um, from a little bit of a eureka moment uh, I had three or four years ago. I was I decided to set my own recruitment business up and become independent after eight or nine years of agency recruitment. And do you know something? Um, it does seem easy on the face of it. Um, just I can just recruit for myself. But what I realised very quickly is that I'm not very good at recruit at uh, building websites. I'm not very good at setting emails up. I'm not very good at business cards. I'm not very good at I don't know what HTML is or what what's the other <laughs> one? I don't know. I'm not very good at any of that sort of stuff. And whilst all that's going on, doing copyright and building and VAT and company and all the legals, everything that goes with it. What not, a real... not to mention raising invoices, doing credit control, and then oh, not I mean, getting paid. We haven't even got into that side <laughs> of things. So I didn't have any idea really of how to do it properly without because um, I didn't have a network. I didn't have anybody to talk to. So as soon as I ended up starting working for myself and starting becoming an independent recruiter, um, I started making you know, calls and you know, picking up work and delivering recruitment pieces. And whilst that's going on, um, I'm getting clients going, well done, Dave, you've successfully made a placement, well done, but we can't pay you for six or seven months. Oh, well, that's pretty good, isn't it? Because I've just delivered some work for you. So whilst that going on, that combined with sitting at home in my home office wondering who else I can talk to because I haven't got any colleagues and I haven't got nobody to talk to. Um, Everybody else you know is like at work. Everybody's got, everybody's, everybody's got a proper job. Uh, <laughs> Kat Marshall, unfortunately, got the blunt of all of it by going, uh, Kat, can you help me with this website? Uh, Kat, can you help me with this? And uh, Kat, can you help me with the other? Because actually, I'm a recruiter. I'm not a businessman. I didn't know how to run a business. Whereas actually, Kat does because Kat's brilliant at all of those things. So what I realized while all of that was going on, I can totally understand why people think about setting up their own business. And after a while, 
maybe are not successful because they've not got the right people around them and they don't really know all yeah. the answers to run a business, let alone getting paid. You know, the credit control and the accountancy and the VAT and insurance and broadband and ugh, all the stuff that most recruiters know nothing about. So it dawned on me that actually it's probably a reason why people don't do it or they're actually returned to being full-time employees because they get isolated mm -hmm. and they're a little bit, uh, you know, out on their own. So that little eureka moment was that, you know, if we could create a, a solution where recruiters are able to plug straight into a system where they get access to everything they would normally get within a business, yep. you know, everything you will get as an employee, but actually you work for yourself with a support network around it, it made perfect sense to me mm -hmm. to build the platform, but also connect these recruiters with each other so that they can all engage and all talk and all be part of a network of people all doing exactly the same thing as each other. It made me realize that you can have colleagues, they're just not in the same place as you. You can have your IT department and your accounts department and your website department. So while all that made loads of perfect sense, what didn't make lots of sense was when I ran Calp going, I've got this brilliant idea, I think we should do this. So. I did drive all the way to Birmingham and have a chat with us and right, <laughs> this is how it all works. And actually, when we've mapped out a few ideas and a few solutions, we came up with Seriously Connected as giving this complete um, support network for recruiters in every capacity so that they can go and recruit for themselves and do it for themselves and let us take over all the things that waste time, distract you from making any money, are actually aren't the fun things to do in recruitment anyway. Yep. And for permanent recruiters watching this right now, what would you say to them? There is another way. <laughs> there is another way. But you know something? I know every recruiter at some point, every, whenever you've done a deal, whenever you've got a great relationship with the client, when you know that reward and you know that pat on the back is coming to us, I know every single one at some point has gone, I should do this for myself. And you know something? It can be quite daunting going out there on your own and doing it. And you can do it. You really can. But why would you do it on your own? Why would you not want to get involved with lots of people who make it easy for you to get successful, to save the time, to save the money, to make yourself productive out there in the marketplace as quick as possible? Why would you continue? Why would you? Why would you continue working in an agency? There is, like Kat says, there is an alternative method. Brilliant. Thanks ever so much for your time today, guys. No problem. Nice to talk to you, Steph. Cheers, Steph. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. See you later.